Hey guys, James from Underground iPod here. Uh, this is going to be another case review. This is one I've already done. Uh, I've had this on for a while. I decided to just do a review of that real quick. So I'm going to take my iPod out of this. This is going to be a review for the first generation. Um, I can never pronounce this. Cianix. Cianix. C y a n i c s. Um, this is uh, a plastic case. And uh, but the great thing is it has speakers built in, so you just flip this sideways. It's spring loaded, just like the Sidekick. You guys might know the Sidekick cell phone up from T-Mobile, and it just flies like that. Uh, this is a dummy iPod in here, so I will just open this up. On the sides right here, it has two clips right here, like on a uh, DVD player, or excuse me, a DVD case. So you can just open this up, take this dummy iPod out, put that up there. Uh, so. It's got a little headphone thing right here that you have to plug your iPod into, so you'll have to slide it down a little bit, so let's just go ahead and slide it down, uh, push from the top, and make sure it's in there all the way, make sure it's snapped, there's no space between there, and push it down around here, make sure it's on all of everything. I have the invisible shield, so it's a little bit thicker, so it might be a little bit tricky for me to get the clips on. You'll hear the clips go. That's not on entirely. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can move it around. There you go. That's a lot easier. Now it's on. Uh, so here we go. Um, it feels pretty much like the uh, other case I had, the leather one. You can see the thickness is pretty identical um, with the speakers on the back and with the belt clip back here and also the uh, raised up on above the screen on this one. It, it pretty much is the same thickness of the other one, so it's not really a nuisance. It, fit, it feels great in your pocket. It works really great. I, I like it, and I, I'm really impressed because I had a first generation, and I never really realized how great it was to have speakers for your iPod. So, um, yeah, so here's the case, and it's uh, transparent. And there's also a couple more features I'll show you guys about this case. So it has the built-in speakers. It feels great. Uh, it doesn't collect lint, obviously. It's plastic. Um, one downside, I don't know if there's any way to overcome this. I don't think you would ever put speakers on a leather case. But um, obviously, if you drop this, you're pretty much out of case unless it lands on, like, grass or, like, you know, carpet or something. If it just... That's okay, but I don't think this would last on pavement or concrete. So... Um, one great thing, if you're taking it out of the case, it's um, pretty easy to take out. I just cut my fingernail, so I have, I'm having trouble right, with this right now. Getting the, there it goes. There's one, there's two. Um, it, it's great for when you take it out to put on your iHome or your dock. It has a little thing back here. It'll sound like you broke it, but it doesn't. It, it, it's fine. Uh, just You slide this down, and it allows you to get from the back and push up, so you can get your fingers in there and pull it out, because uh, of the headphone jack right there. So that's a great little thing um, back here for getting it out when you're done with it or putting it on a dock that it won't fit on. Uh, one thing, it, another thing about it, uh, it has this little guy that flips sideways right here, which um, your charging cable will fit in there, no problem, or radio transmitter. Uh, but it slides out sideways, so this is on carpet. I don't know if this is going to work. No, but um, on a table or uh, a desk, it, it does work. Here, actually, let me grab my... I have a printer sitting right here, so it has a flat surface on it. An HP printer, so you just fly it sideways and it will stand up. There you go, see. Um, I'm not... wait, there we go. There it goes. See, I'm not touching it, it just it stands up like that. It's great if you're... Um, if you need it to stand that way. So uh, now, also, if you want to watch a movie in landscape, oh, that closes and it just clips right there. So that's good. Um, real easy. Also, if you want to watch a movie in landscape mode, your iPod will have to stand sideways. So what you'll have to do is a little switch right here. This is a really functional case. You just slide it down. It's spring loaded, and then that allows this guy right there to come out of its socket or channel. And so then it's open like this. And then there you go. You got it in landscape mode if you want to watch a movie. And also the speakers have this space under here to let the sound project out. And also um, if you want more vertical, you can set it like that or you can 
pop it out and it's less. So let me show you that right there. So it's that versus that. And to put it back in, you have to pull this down. Let it go. And it's back on. Uh, for the speakers coming out, they're really easy uh, to slide out. Just uh, keep your fingers like this and they pop right out. Works just like the sidekick. So I'll push it that way. Push it that way. These are great. The speakers uh, sound pretty good. Um, if you want to charge them, uh, there's a little jack right here, like on a razor. Right there. Uh, it's the same jack as a razor, so it actually will work with your razor um, charger overnight. There, you can see it, see it better. Uh, for and if you want to just have them off all the time, whether it's open or closed, if you want to, uh, there's three different settings. There's off. Switch over here. There's off. There, so if, even if it is out, they're off. Uh, there's auto, which is the middle setting. So they're off right now. Now they're on. See the blue light. So when it closes, that blue light turns off. And then there's on all the time, and that's obviously for longer battery or if you don't want them sticking out like that. So now they're on right now, and they're still on. They're still on. So if you want to have it in that position where it's standing up like that, you can still have it, or if you just don't want your speaker sticking out. So I usually keep it on auto because when they're closed, I don't want them wasting any battery, and I never use them for when they're closed. Uh, oh, well, you would want it on the on one if you have your standout and you're watching a movie because otherwise they'd be off. So that's what the on one is for when you're in landscape watching a video. But I usually keep it on auto because that's just the easiest one to have it on. And I find myself playing with this a lot. Like, it's fun. And it's, you know, as long as you're not too uh, jerking at it, I mean, this isn't really going to break too bad. Uh, as far as sound, I'll just go to my iPod and play something like Boston. Everyone loves Boston. Play Peace of Mind. And so uh, the volume is affected by that, right? The the, um, the regular volume switch rather than if it was plugged into the middle, the USB jack. So you just open it like that. Now it's playing. And they sound pretty good. When they, now, when they go all the way up, no speakers sound good up all the way, but... There we go. I have trouble with that sometimes. Um, uh, they do get pretty loud, and they also go... They sound really great, like, qu just as quiet, like... They sound fine. Um... You know, all portable speakers, the bass sounds terrible, so, you know, you can't ask for, like, huge quality when it's turned all the way up, but it does sound pretty good, so I just keep it right about there. And then, uh, my friend, I've, I always used to ha be in an application or on my home screen, and I would have to double-click and pause it for something, but now it's just... If I'm playing music and I'm doing something, it's just like, hey, my, someone, my friend's calling me, so you just... Close it. You want to keep resume the music. Resume off. Resume off. And it's great. So this is a great case. Um, it feels just like all the other plastic ones. It's about the same thickness. It's um, as far as the screen and everything else. So uh, great case. I really recommend this. I I have a lot of fun fun with this. Playing with it all the time. Uh, looking on the camera to pause it. There it goes. So this is a great pickup. Um, I think it was $25. It's the $25 also for the second generation. Same price for both. This is a great product. I love it a lot. Um, I think it was time for me to get a new case, and I like this. Also, if you want to, if you want your headphones plugged in, you don't have to take this off. There's a headphone jack right there, so you don't have to take this off because that's blocked off. So, uh, great case, very functional. You got the landscape stand. You got. Um, they slide out like this, and you can have them on whenever you want to. It has this right here to stand it up. Like, whoops, hit the camera tripod. You can have it stand up like that, and it's just very functional case. Wonderful, wonderful product. Um, I re highly recommend you guys get this. So, uh, pretty much the only downside is plastic. I mean, but because I, I I tend to drop my iPod, but I'll get used to it because I'm spoiled with my leather case. So. Uh,
I, I like this. You guys really should pick this up. It's uh, Cantix. Again, if you want to see that. Excellent case. Thank you guys for watching. Rate this five stars so more people can check this out and uh, more people can benefit from this. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe.